Hello, my name is Rob Goodwin. I'm a specialty solution architect here at AWS focused on Outpost and Outpost servers. Once you've ordered your Outpost server within the console, you'll receive it just like this vertically. Before opening it up, we want to check the labels to make sure it hasn't received undue impact that could have damaged the server. The first one is on the front side here. The second one is on the reverse side over here. Now this is a heavy box and I suggest two people to flip it on its side so that we can open it up. So we're going to do that next and we'll come back. As we open the box, the first thing we want to look at is this diagram. It shows the upper foam, a box A, a box B, and the server. It has this little warning signal that says NSK do not discard. The NSK stands for Nitro Security Key. This key plugs into the server. I will show you that key along with how to plug into the server later. But right now, let's look at box A, open that up, and see what's inside. Inside the box, we have the Outpost Server Installation Guide. Once you have yours, you can open that up and read it and see what is inside to that. But let's look at the other two boxes. We have box A and box B. We're gonna remove these and open them up and see what's inside. Okay, I'm gonna move box B off to the side for a second. Let's open up box A. As we open it up, you'll see we have some packing material here, keep everything protected. We have a fiber cable. This end is a QSFP, and it breaks out into four SFP pluses. So you will need at least two ports, one and two, for that connection. Here is the Nitro security key. As I unwrap this, it's in a static pouch. This is the Nitro security key, and I'll show you where to plug that in in the server when we get the server up. We have cables. Now these cables plug into the front of the server to provision it. There's one for a USB-C and a one for a mini USB. We also have nuts and bolts to help rack mount it and power cables for your server. Now below this packing material, there is a bezel for your server to place on it for the cable management. Let's go see what's in box B. In box B, we have a little bit of packing material, but these are the rails to mount the server in a rack. There's two rails that in a square hole rack, you don't need any screws or anything, but there's also screws and adapters if you have a round hole rack. Now that we've opened up box A and B, let's go get the server. So the server is under here. So let's get that out right now. There's two pieces of foam that we need to remove and this piece of cardboard that's coming up with it. And in here is the server. Now the server is heavy, so have another person come in and help you lift it out. So we're gonna lift this out and then we're gonna unwrap this and place it on the table. Here's the outpost server. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the back of it to see what's there and also then the front. I wanna show the back of the server because as you can see, there are no ports or anything that you need to plug into. So when you put your server in the rack, you only have to worry about interfacing with the front. So let's rotate this around and see what the front it looks like. Oh, 
over here, the connection that the black cables in box A will be used to configure or provision your server. As we move over, this is the QSFP plus port for your network cables. As we go up and over, we have power cables. And then this is where the NSK key goes. So let's go and get the key and plug it in. This is where the NSK goes, the Nitro Security Key, this device here. We're gonna plug it in and we're gonna hand tighten it. You don't need to crank it down with a screwdriver, just nice, snug, hand tight, so it's secure. Now your server is ready for provisioning. Plug in your power, plug in your network, and follow your instructions on the Amazon Web Services website. And that's it. Now after unboxing, we're left with a bunch of material. What do we do with this? Well, we can do one of two things. One, we can pack it all up and save the box for later, or better yet, recycle. Foam and the boxes are all recyclable. Thank you.